something like that. Hey guys, we are back. To recap, last session they finally went and acted on what Dale told them about hiding the money. Got on the ship without any real trouble. <laughs> Did not find the actual money, but found a few interesting items in the process, including a pixie that seemed to have been smuggled onto the ship. In a very dramatic exit, Anders had, uh, Anders' character, Evan, expressed some issues with the situation with one of the teammates, Erston, stormed out. Um, we also had not heard back from Lore yet. And now that they've completed their first mission, they have been told they might be getting another new teammate in addition to the help that was sent to them with Ellen. It, how do you say that again? I keep wanting to call you Ellen. Elon. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> it okay. looks like Ellen. <laughs> but, um,. They were left on their own after briefing their handler and given their reward, including keeping one of the potions they found on board. That was where we left, we left off and everyone went home. It's a new day and that's where we're starting off. All right, so. I know, Erston, you said you stayed at the inn, correct? Just for the one night, yeah. You and Stella were both there. Uh, Stella had a different room. Yeah, I probably <laughs> wouldn't have left under the bed. To yeah. Out the and Elan, I'm assuming you went back to wherever you've been staying? Yeah. Alright. So, morning has come. I am going to start off with Erston and Cello since they're both in the same place. Alright. So, do uh, you guys think you'd wake up early, Erston? Are you still kind of tired oh. from the last night? Back to normal. Chipper and bouncing around, skipping down the stairs to go get breakfast. Alright. Okay. So, you do that, The no one's really there yet, it's still early, early. It's alright, I'll bust out some of my dried meats and berries and whatnot that I have stored away. Okay. Stello, uh, how early do you think you would have gone up? As early as possible, I told the two guys that I'd be meeting them in the morning. Alright. So, I'll say you probably go downstairs about the same time, and you said you're meeting Elan, or? Both of them. Okay. I can't remember. If there was someone else I said, because I can't remember anyone else. Mm -hmm. But, Elon. as you're eating breakfast... The sound of an opening door uh, greets you as somebody steps in. And Derek, would you like to describe yourself? Uh, just kind of relatively normal-looking tiefling. Um, he does have some odd sort of looking protrusions from his back with a poor attempt to try to cover them with his clothes um a hole cut out for a tail and some horns on his head but other than that not too out of the ordinary looking type of guy and he does have purple skin but 
as you see him walk in, you also see Reese walk in behind him. Kind of surprising because the night before how he talked seemed like he wasn't going to meet you again quite so soon. He seems extremely tired and slightly more stressed than you've seen him before. He notices you too, uh, kind of gestures towards them as he whispers something to Ilada. That's how I say it, right? I'm still getting used to all yeah, the names. Perfect, right. fine pronunciation. Okay. And he kind of, as he sees, you notice him point upstairs and starts walking. He's pointing at us. Wait, which, who's walking he, upstairs? He My points or? to the stairs. Oh. Uh, and starts walking up them. I'll do a cartwheel and follow the way up. <laughs> I sigh and follow. I'll do the same. I guess I'll head with them, even though I have. Or was so, I the one already? What? You would been heading there fairly early, too, correct? Not quite there yet. Ah, okay. Would you have been meeting up with them early, or would you have waited a bit? Uh, probably just early. Don't really have a day to day schedule, so. Alright. Okay. Just, that's for a reason. So he's with us? Not yet. So, you all head upstairs. He goes towards the room you had met in the other night. Opens it. And he'll stand against the wall a bit as you all pile in and shut the door. I told you there was going to be a new member, and possibly, and uh, I would like to induce, introduce you to Ilada. I also have some bad news. It seems that your other teammate, Lore, has gone missing. We had sent someone to check up with her and make sure she was okay the other day and, well, yesterday. And it seems that she left yesterday morning and has not come back. It may be nothing, but we're trying to find out a bit more, they said. Some friends said they would get with me if anything comes up. If any of you see her, please tell our friend the word keep downstairs and he will relay it to me. <coughs> uh, we also have sent some people out to search for Dale there. Hopefully she'll be something soon. But uh, I wanted to deliver the news myself, and also something while you're waiting for your next assignment. If you would like to possibly go a bit outside the norm of thievery and typical guild jobs. We've had a few spies in the Gravediggers League that didn't make it back from some of the adventures they had been taken on. You don't have to, but if anyone's interested in 
doing any up close work. I thought I'd bring that up. Get some new people in, give you all something a bit different to do. Your choice. But that's basically it. Again, if we have any more information about your teammate, I will also let you know. Hopefully nothing's happened. He kind of just leans back and shrugs a bit. Anyway, uh, Alada, this is your new team. Same, this is your new teammate. Come on in. Questions. He seems a little bit short today as well. Uh, the way he's talking. Yep, it's, well, they're all light right now. Well, nice to meet you, Lada. Is that's how you're called? Yeah, it's nice to meet you guys too. Guess I'm just sort of a quick replacement. Hopefully, you're a long-lasting one. <laughs> Alon kind of gives like a sorry. Like a princess. Alon gives a little, a little wave to uh, to Fisher and then gives a wink to Alada. Well, hello. Nice to meet hello. you. Hello. Could always use some friends. So, if there's nothing uh, else, I'll take my leave and leave you all to get acquainted, talk amongst yourselves, and do whatever else you might decide to do. I'll get you in the next Very round. Much, kid. Uh, night. Uncle, if it's okay, sometime later today, could I talk to you about a possibly private matter? I can come back around, uh, dusk. I'll be there. Today, I can do that, yes. Anything else? Urson comes out of spacing out. Did I miss anything good? I'll let uh, the rest of you fill him in. Hi. <laughs> oh, there's a new person here. Yeah. Don't need him. I don't need people. That's gross. What? <laughs> Should I be concerned? Not anymore. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't lighten anything for me. Hi, I'm Erston. Well, Hi. Kind of chuckle a bit, shrug, and wave. And then he's gonna walk out. Bye, boss man. <laughs> Bye, dude. Morning. So what's this about him eating people? It's not people, <laughs> it's person. And I don't do it anymore. I was just joking. I did not know that about him. Me either. And now I'm suddenly more concerned. You never eat yeah. a person. Gross. I thought you I thought you were a vegetarian. Aren't you a druid? Yeah. We don't eat people. Uh hmm. I, mean, I suppose I could. This still doesn't lighten anything. <laughs> Just either way. More concerned. I'm Stella, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too, Stella. Aloda. Uh. I, uh, take his hand. Elon Pyre. Well, hello, Elon Pyre. Aloda. Age. Erston seeing nobody take his hand is gonna take his other hand and shake his own. <laughs> Erston, I'm Erston. It's good to meet you. Nice to oh, meet no, you, Oh, no, there's Erston. two. Don't eat me. Preferably. No. I don't eat people I work with. Mm. That's still concerning. But moving on. Doesn't sound concerning anymore to me. I mean, a little bit, a little bit. What if he changes his mind? What if we no longer work with him? 
I'm suddenly worried again. Okay. I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay, let's go eat and breakfast again. Yeah. Go get let's let's go get you some food before you get any ideas and I start pushing him down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Alright, All right, you head downstairs. A few more people have come in. Most still waking up. Still not that many, but the barkeep is getting things ready. You can smell food being made from behind the counter back in the kitchen. One of the helpers has come out by now to speed things up. And uh, yeah, you guys want to sit down hang out until you do whatever you can just say whatever you want to do I'd, I'm going to eat and tell everyone goodbye I'm going to take off to do that to bring the pixie home to my druid teacher okay be safe Yep. see you guys in a couple of days <laughs> Uh, Thank God he's gone. Now he can't eat me. <laughs> Ex-cannibal. What if he goes back? There's three of us. They probably we call have a that chance. Ex-cannibal. Ex <laughs> he's an ex-cannibal to be an ex-cannibal. That's great. All right, well. Have any hey. business in town? No, I'm poor. Oh. Well then. Nah. And I'll just walk to the bar and get a drink. <laughs> what kind of drink would you like? Uh, something small. It's still daybreak. Alcoholic, but not schwasted. So, surprise you then? Sure. Alright. I'll get that right out for you. And he'll head back into the kitchen. Uh, well. To grab something. Comes back out. Mixes it with uh, something under the counter. And he'll walk over after you head back and give it to you. Here you go. Thank go you, my good man. Anytime. And he'll head back over. Start making um, more drinks for others that have shown up. I'm going to take my drink take a couple minutes to finish it off and then I'm gonna head out. Well, I got stuff to do, lad, so I'll see you in a couple of days. Now walk out the door. Enjoy the free time. Yeah, fun. So, Stella, what do you have to do here? Yeah, mainly waiting for Uncle to come back and then nothing much right now. Probably just gonna practice some tools. You? Yeah, I have nothing to do, so I don't know. <coughs> I'll probably just have to find something to entertain my time. Good luck with that, then. You know where my room is? It's just across from the one we just met up at. All right. I'll go figure something to do. I get up, and I guess I could just go practice with some wood carving tools in my room. All right. Well, for everyone that has something to do, we're going to kind of do a free time, I guess it would be called a montage, I'm trying to think of the word. I'm just going to go to eat. The eye of the tiger. <laughs> and see what you all want to do, roleplay, whatever needs to be roleplayed out. 
and then you'll all come back together and decide what to do from there. Sound good? Gotcha. Alright. Let's go. I'm going to go with Erston first. Oh, mine's super simple. Because I'm just going to take the pixie, uh, find my old druid teacher, uh, since we can't find the pixie at home, and uh, I'll just train up with him. Then I'm going to send a package. How far away is that? I, mean, I wouldn't say it's more than a day or two. Alright. You're going to have to tell Reese about that, because... You're not really supposed to leave the city oh, without that's right. knowing. Yeah. That's kind of a big thing. I'm just for pacing. I mean, I assume I'd get permission to yeah. gain more power. Yeah. So I'd go do my druid stuff, send a package off for my dad, and then come back to town. Uh, and I'm going to break that gold down to a bunch of like copper. And divvy it up among all the children. Alright. So, it. what were you asking your mentor about the pixie exactly? Because that, that was something you to Well, it's how to transform into various animals that I've encountered. What the. Weren't you going to ask him something about the pixie? Oh, if you would take care of her, because we're trying to find her home. And I don't want her running around in the city with me. Okay. So when I get the chance, I'll keep doing some research and I'll try and come back and visit and get her home at some point. Okay. So. Um, I'll go with... Who else had to do stuff? I think Stello mentioned some things. And who else? I guess I do a little bit. Alright. If then. I can do it. Uh, first, I want to get these gems that they gave me appraised. Alright, there's a, get... a appraisal shop that's close to the inn. Uh, probably the inn I think we said was around there and there's some markets close by a lot of them are around the more upper class districts near the castle there's a one that's pretty popular right in this area Mm -hmm. So, you can go mm -hmm. there. Where would I get my money's worth? Do you can there's, can I ask around or yeah, you, can, you can ask around, see if there's some other places, because that one would be a bit more pricey since it's in the upper end. There's also probably some people with ebon clad, but you don't really know everyone in the guild so you'd have to be pointed towards someone who specializes in it so yeah, you uh, i just want to basically go like to a pawn shop or something and just get some money oh, i thought you were trying to figure out how much it was that that too okay. that and then get money all right all right um so, I'm going to say you talk to the barkeep about it, since you were already there, and he might be in the know. He, you could actually probably sell it to a fence of Ebonclad that's nearby, who would give you a guild discount. Alright, then I'll go do that. Alright. So you walk about 15 minutes, we'll say, up in middle class district of the city. Not a large place, but it, it looks nice, sign of 
some gems hanging above the store. Mm -hmm. You walk in. It's got a lot of really nice jewelry, different stuff over there. There's a woman behind the counter with pulled back brown hair, short human, and she nods at you as you come in with a smile. Looks pretty, looks nice. Can I help you? And uh, this is from the um, Evan Clad. Yes. All right. So, an Evan can't. I tell her, "Good morning," and hopefully she'll understand me. I don't think that would require Evan can't for good morning. Oh well, good morning. Uh, there's some. Uh, there's. I'm looking to uh, gather a price for some gems I acquired. She'll nod a bit. Um, yes, I can. I can do that. Can you uh, show me which gems they are? So I take out my. Uh, I take out the little pouch, and I take out the two sapphires, and the small diamond. You probably will have to tell her you're Evan Clot in some way, though. Not just the, not just talking in Evan can't like gets that. Okay. That's well, what I was trying to do. Of it in there. Okay. She'll pull out a magnifying glass, um, some scales, kind of tinker with them, look pretty close. They look like they would come up to around 150 gold in value. Together? Yes. Well, you would just three, right? You said uh, the two sapphires and the diamond, yes. Yes. You, you wouldn't happen to... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, actually it would be 150, yes. For all three? Yes. Okay. The sapphires would each be worth twenty-five. The diamond was um, the diamond was a hundred. It's wow, fairly small, but it's a really high quality. It's not like small, small, but it's still it's smaller cut. than like teeny tiny diamond. It's just smaller than the average. Mm hmm You wouldn't happen to buy these gems, would you? Yes, that is definitely one of the things we do here. I can offer you a discount rate. Usually we buy them for about... We take about 25% off the full value mm -hmm. for selling. And I need to do some math about that <laughs> real quick, if anyone else wants to help me, because I'm not that good at math. Just take the number times 0. 0.75. Okay. That would be about uh, 112 she... gold. Hmm. I'm a bit in a hurry, so I'll take it. Okay. She will rummage around uh, in a money pouch, counting out, and she'll hand you it. It, and she'll actually, while she's doing this, she'll ask, "Would you like this all in gold, or would you like some as?" Uh, gold, gold is fine. Okay. And she'll hand you the sack and nod. If you need anything else, feel free to come by again. Very nice doing business with you. 
and I smile and uh, shake her hand and walk out. So now I want to, I'm going to go to a mail carrier, the mail, whatever that's called, the post office. All right, that would be near the government district, which is close to the castle, where a lot of official business type stuff is, the government offices, a lot of the services. Mm -hmm. So you can walk over there and Hire someone to send mail, if you would like. Alright. So I'm going to grab a parchment. I believe they might have one parchment in there. Okay. I'm going to write a quick note to my family. Nothing about Ebonclad, but that I am going to just say how I am doing and I'm sending money for them and I'm going to send 20 gold pieces And I contemplate on whether or not I want to give them the emeralds that I never gave back from before and decide I'm going to keep it. All right. But then I send everything else, the gold and the letter, and I send it off. All right, that will be about 10 copper. Um, I only have GP. Actually. Hmm? How far away are they? They're, um, wherever the poorest part of the country is. Outside of it. I don't don't remember exactly where, but they're in a poorer part of the... of the land. Alright, that'd probably be one of the villages around because it's a city-state. It doesn't really have any other cities. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, it would be about a silver or a tin copper, depending on which one you want to give. No, tin copper is two silver, isn't it? Is it ten or five? I always... Yeah, look that up. Ten copper is one silver. Then I was right. Cool. Silver... I- Okay, so I only have gold. Do I just give them a gold? You can you can do that, or you could ask for exchange. I exchange one gold for whatever silver and give them that. All right, you can do that. They take the silver, hand you back the remaining nine silver and take the package to send. Okay. And then I wanted to get a disguise kit. All right. You can get that in a few different places. Uh, It's all about the same, so I'll say you just pick one. And I believe that is about... I don't have that right on me, but let's see. That is 25 gold. Done. Alright. Cross out 25 gold on your inventory and you have yourself a disguise kit. All right, then I'm going to head on to my home. Which which is basically a boarding house with a bunch of dudes. And I'll be done for now. All right, 
Bello, you're up. Okay. Until dusk, I've just been practicing with my woodcarver's tools, finally trying to get something done with them. Just At the moment, just trying to make a shiv out of wood, just to keep some kind of practicing going. Right. Until dusk, at least. Alright, you can do that. And you're not really making anything complicated, you're just making a shiv? Yeah, mainly just trying to make a basic dagger and I'll work my way up from that. Alright. Can you make me a wood carving check? It shouldn't be too hard, but... Okay. What do I add to it? Dex? String? I think it's dex, because it requires attention to detail okay. for wood carving. 18. Yeah, you, you do it fine. Not hard at all. You made a shiv. <laughs> yep. <coughs> okay, this is easier than I thought. I'll put that down. <laughs> I will not deny anything. <laughs> I'll just keep messing around with woodcarver tools, making more shivs <laughs> until <laughs> dusk. This is all I have to do. I don't want to like go you're anywhere. Firing. You're just turning yep. out all these iron daggers to level up your smithing. To be fair, shiv is useful to me. Alright, you do that. Dusk comes. It's about the time that Reese says he would meet up with you. Okay. I'll go downstairs and wait at the <laughs> after getting something to eat. Right. You do so. You're sitting at table watching people as you wait. Some guys are playing cards. Drunk, singing horribly. You really hope he gets here soon so you don't have to listen to it m longer. Just as you think you're about to lose your cool, Reese walks in and he'll come over your table, put a hand on your shoulder to get your attention. I'll look up and smile. Well, I'm here. You want to go upstairs and go ahead and talk? Lead the way, Uncle. Alright, and we'll head up. You both go in the room as you go. Okay. What is it you wanted to talk about? A few things. Well, mainly just one, really. You remember in my report when I mentioned the, uh, what happened with the giant rat? Down in the sewers, yes. Yeah. I understand that my power testing is not very efficient, seeing as I'm so untrained, but I feel I'm going to need someone to help me control this, because if I talk to one of my teammates and their brain melts out of their ears, I don't think any of us are going to enjoy that. Yes, um, I can see how that could be a don't really understand how this is going to go with you. I've talked to your family about it. We really have another warlock, and if we did, this is a fairly unusual circumstance. That's fine. We're not looking for someone with random magic, after all. We're looking for someone who knows how to control magic. There are some wizards. Palettes used differently may be able to help you in some ways. I've also brought up the possibility to your family that there might be some research to do. There's a few libraries in town. Going in the way and I'll self-study as well. But having guidance would probably help. I can definitely talk to some people and see if we can get you some help. Until then, keep people updated on anything strange that happens. Hopefully, <laughs> make someone's brain melt. <laughs> Tell me which library would be the best choice to go first. There's a 
rather large one by Castle Mariner. It was actually the one that Lore had been at. Okay. I'll head down there right away. Thank you for telling me. If you find anything that was the last place she was seen... I'll let you know. Alright. Thank you, and is there anything else before I head out? Not particularly. Alright. Well, <laughs> then I will make take my leave. Get a good night's sleep, Uncle. You as well. And he'll head out. Is there anything else you would like to do around town this weekend? Uh, this not It's not weekend, but... You, yeah, next two days. I will go to the library every day, and that is it. Right. I will say, uh, something strange does happen during this time. About on the third night... Even though you're wearing your cap that your family has given you, there's a strange nightmare. You can only remember flashes of it when you wake up, but it gives you a rather unsettling feeling, uh, almost lifelike kind. It's you remember flashes of what looked like stars and a strange figure that you can't quite seem to picture when you think on it. Uh, That's just perfect. It, it's very vague. So that's really all you can remember. You feel like there was definitely more there. But it draws up blank. Oh well. Write that down in whatever notes that I've been taking throughout the trips to the library just in case. And I'll keep going. Also, roll me a investigation check to see what you could find at the library in these past three days. Investigation or Arcana? Okay. Investigation. Investigation, because you already know what you're searching for. Yeah. On Arcana subjects, but you're looking for the book. I see. You don't really find that much. Maybe you don't know where exactly to look. You don't know how to describe what why you're looking for something or what you're looking for without you know kind of reaching a topic you don't want to okay let's see necromancy for dummies <laughs> sacrificial <laughs> lambs for oh this is not okay i'm gonna put this back the restriction why is there an adult book here okay yeah i need a teacher it's like Full Metal Alchemist, you gotta read between the lines, you gotta decode it. This cooking book should not be here, okay. <laughs> you just don't put back books back where they go. Oh hey, a comic book! <laughs> Probably kids, I'm supervised. Yep, Kristen. I'll explain why all these adult books are on the low shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, last stop, does Alada want to do anything at all during this three-day time period? I don't have anything to do. <laughs> well, it is too poor to afford to do anything. <laughs> I just want to turn it into a dire wolf. Uh, I'll, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. There's always just wandering around or yeah, that's... walking in the park. Well, uh, I. But I'd mostly be doing yeah. <laughs> Zello. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hang out at that boarding house 
that I I mentioned earlier, and there those are the um, the writers slash uh, wannabe thieves that I mentioned before. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to them about not my my adventures, but kind of just ask for their opinions on on thievery and what to do, and maybe one of them will help me become a better uh, thief, maybe. First, though, Derek, was there anything else you were going to say? No, I'm just going to be moseying around. Okay. For the most part. Is it going to be a tourist? Yeah, and pretty much. And you're saying this in Thieves Kent, right? Just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, can you make me a investigation check now? Or would it be persuasion because you're trying to persuade people? I mean, they know me. Well, yeah. So, investigation. Okay. I think it'd be that. That's about the best I can think of. Yeah. All right. You do um, find a few willing to talk. They give you some pointers. A few nights, you end up kind of going out with them around on the town. Teach you a few subtle tips how to go about getting away with things in very populated areas. Just little intricacies of the thieving trade. But you've gotten a bit better. Do you think you've taken it in? There was a close call once when you were out. You started but making out to distract everybody. Yeah, you, you got away without issue. It's good having friends. Might have been different if you were alone. The end of the three days are up for all of you now. All done your bits. And we'll say you've all gone back home. And that's that. Alright. I assume we get called in for a meeting or something for a next mission. You do get called in by Reese. If you so you'll all go back to the end three days later. You're back in the room. He waits for the last person to get there. Before talking. And bad news. It seems that your teammate Lore has left the city. We don't know if she did it by <coughs> her own violation or not. But someone had seen her going out the western gate with another figure. He was somehow convinced, we'll say, to go out. We're going to find her and bring her back. If she ran for some reason, that you got some new teammates. But just wave in the background. <laughs> we found some documents that we think she may have had that concern matters that are need to know and you do not need to know could possibly tie into this. Do not have any regular missions right now. It's been pretty slow. However, I think it would be a good idea for the four of you to go out at the city and see what you can do on your own. 
not saying anyone would be watching, but if they did, it'd be a good show of how you work off the job as a team. It should be not too long where we'll have something else for you. So we have Maybe. to find our own job. Yeah. Maybe wants, by the end of the week. He wants us to paint the town red. I No, not no. quite that. <laughs> Grecian is still highly advised. Kill Steve Pillage. Got it. Steal all the gold paint. Steal all the gold paint. Steal all the red paint and then paint the town red. But this time, literally, with paint. Well, if you want to do that, just make sure it's... I turn to him. I turn to him and say, Or, we drain some people's blood. And then paint the town red. First of all, can I finish? <laughs> Second of all, I know you're joking, but seriously, that would be a very bad idea. <laughs> I almost lost my train of thought, but I think I have it again. And he kind of stares, unamused. Be discreet, even off the job. If you run into anything that requires going against any criminal type things, it's not really found upon as long as it's not to us. So we have people, I mentioned the Gravediggers League earlier, who've made quite a reputation as thief snatchers, tends to make people less suspicious. So, uh, feel free to do whatever, just if you have any doubt there might be issues, come ask, we'll tell you. If so, if not, then be careful, and if anything happens, we are not involved. Don't call you to bail us out. Well, we would bail you out, or at least try. But mostly because you have information that does not need to fall into the wrong hands. However, if we can't, well, we'll make sure you don't let anyone in on our little secret. Well, that's not ominous at all. Of course not. Yeah. We're not going to get caught. Well, it's a thieves' guild. I don't know what you're that... talking about. That doesn't exist. Yeah, thieves can't bad. form a guild. Thieves can't cooperate. Keep that out. And I am going to head out if you need anything. Leave a message here and I will find you. At the end of the town. Alright, bye boss man. Have fun, Uncle. Mighty guy. No sign to shake his head. All right, now to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> sure about what is that? Getting trouble. Yeah. Avoiding trouble. I like avoiding trouble. I do. I do too. Get in just enough trouble so we don't get caught. How about we get other people in trouble? I like that one. Mmm. Like Let's find the biggest... I'm trying to not to... Yes. By Who's the, the biggest? Mm hmm How did you all feel about his, uh, mention... Mm -hmm. ...of the Gravesdigger League again? I don't know. Aren't they dead? <laughs> Right. They keep dying they all the time. To, they want us to pick up a dead man's mission. I don't know. I thought it was more that. that 
we join and we have more ears in their association. Well, because I thought you guys killed me last time. I what? think we did, yeah. Or just about killing you? Oh, we ate him. Don't worry, we got him back for, you know, what he did. I'm very- Sorry, I was spacing out. What, when did we eat somebody? This is before we met you, don't worry. But no, with that mask, it should probably... Well, it's a mask, but it's more of a cloth, I suppose. I'm certain that you can probably make another appearance. I start thinking of ways to frame the others in case I need to escape. <laughs> For whatever reason. But, on the other hand, if we do go and do that, that means paperwork, and that's just wasting time. You... I don't like paperwork. Is anybody? I don't know. I'm sure it's somebody. There's plenty of people to do it. Hmm. I kinda need a hand bow. Hand crossbow. I mean, if anyone wants to join me on a little expedition. Sure. Might as well stick together. Yeah. Let's go shopping. The five finger discount. Isn't that paying full price? I think it's paying more because we like our pinkies and thumbs fingers. Hmm. Um. I'll explain it to you later, and I start walking out the door. So. You're going to buy it, or was that you stealing it? It uh, depends on what the situation calls for. If I can do it, if I could steal it, I would, but if not, I'll pay for it. Alright. Well, there's a weapon shop. You know of one that is also Evan clad, but you're pretty sure it's a bad idea to try and steal from there, so maybe as a backup if you have to buy. Mm hmm. But um, it's a pretty well known place. It's called. Uh, Gorn Steel. Okay. It is right around the place you went for jewel appraisal. Appraisal. In the same place? No, it's around. Oh, it's around. Okay. Close by. You ask the barkeep and he'll tell you about that. I'm just going to keep referring to him as the barkeep. No, it's not. I keep doing it. So, you head when on you down. remember it, let me know. Yeah, I'm trying to remember it, because I don't think anyone took a note on his name. I'll uh -uh. probably just make that one up. I know I didn't. Yeah. We didn't. didn't. I don't think anyone did. I can't really take notes right now. Uh. I'll come up with the name this session, and we're just going to tack that on, because no one remembers. So, you head over to Gorin Steel. A kind of strange looking shop. It, it's made of stone like a bunch of stone piled together. Mm -hmm. The forge is outside. You can see a dwarf making something or other. Hear the sound of the hammer. The heat is so intense you can feel it as you're walking up. Uh, if the door is open on the inside, and you can see the sight of somebody kind of shoveling around in there. Okay, I am 
going to use my new disguise kit. Is is it just one use, or do I could I use it multiple times? Use it multiple times, but you can't really use it out in the open. That'd be a bit strange. Well, I'll go to like an alleyway or something away from eyes, and try to try to uh, hide a little bit of my my face. We'll do the trick for you. Okay. Let's check both sides. Where we put up an illusion of a fence so nobody can see in. Alright, a fence just suddenly yeah. realizes. How far in are you going with this, or are you doing it like right up front? What do you mean? Oh, well. Uh, we were gonna. I was gonna go into an alleyway with like a brick wall or something, so yeah. you can't see from Fence one side. requires an alley. <laughs> right there, you go. And requires us to both look both ways. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the disguise kit to at least like give me myself facial hair, make myself a little older. Okay, is that a deception check? Uh, somebody it's else. It's a disguise kit check. Okay, yeah. but I thought it was like it it runs on a stat. It can yeah. choose to you can either choose to have it run off dexterity or charisma or anything really, but those are the top two. It'd probably be charisma because that's where deception performance all that is, which I think would tie into this. So charisma check? Yes. Do you have you don't have proof do you have wait yes you do because we talked about it. you have proficiency in this so add your proficiency proficiency modifier okay. uh key okay, hold on just charisma straight charisma 14 all right you think you do pretty well uh when the rest of you look at her him hey, yeah i Ugh, I'm sorry. You... You think you did pretty well? He, why do I keep doing this? You just said that. It's throwing me off. I need to remember. Pronouns are no... I know. Are no, uh... Insult to me, dear. I can keep it up with other people. I have done it before. I don't know why I'm hey. having... But, anyway... It looks passable. You can tell she is disguised pretty well. Yeah. Unless someone looks really closely, they might notice something off. Uh, okay. She, he doesn't arouse too much suspicion. You guys should be good. How can you just deal with wearing all that? It's called makeup, darling. And I yeah, and I know how to today. use it. I just don't like it. <laughs> it feels dreadful, trust me. It's not your makeup job, I just mean that. I turn to Erston. Okay. Oh god. And I... My face. I'm just looking at you. I'm gonna peek out behind you. Like in between my arms. If I were to ask you to make a distraction, do you think you can do it? I think I can manage distraction. How big? Mm, not calling the guards big, just enough to uh, make a bit of a a mess away from certain activities going on. How? Um, how about I give you a signal? I mean, are we talking it's going to be within 10 minutes, 15? It's going to be pretty quick. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go ask for something, and then uh, when I give you the signal, which I think I'm going to make a uh, sneeze. When I sneeze, do the, uh, do the, uh, what's it called? Distraction inside, and then we'll bolt out of here. What do you think? A, 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 just a big dog. Wait outside, puppy. Yeah, and then I'll... Right 
All right, and then I'm gonna walk in and try to catch the the dwarf's attention. Um, hello, good sir. Oh, uh, hello, customer. Yes, hello. Uh, I was wondering if you. I'm in the market for a, a hand crossbow. You wouldn't happen to have any on stock, would you? Yeah, we got those. They're there on the wall. You said hand crossbow? Mm hmm. Not just a crossbow, correct? Yes. Alright. That's as he gold pieces. As he turns, I'm assuming that he's gonna turn to look. I wanna look around and see anything that's like out in the open. If I can like take it as as soon as um that little signal happens. Uh, nothing near the doorway where you are. Most of it's a bit further in on the walls. The it's kind of got. A what's it called? It's I'll just say I'll, I'll walk up to like where where he is to like where I guess the counter or whatever. Well, he was moving around the room. He, he looked like he was taking inventory or putting some more stuff up. Do I see like any like bolts or like small just small weapons? Something that's just. Ammo and small weapons are near the counter, like mm -hmm. in a display kind of case. You know, like when you're walking in a store, ain't got that. Uh, okay. Case. Okay. How old is this dwarf? Are you asking him? No, I'm asking. How old does he look? Oh, make me a perception check. Nope. <laughs> this guy is a dwarf. You, you're not quite sure. Uh, he's got a pretty full beard, but dwarves tend to all have beards. Right. So uh, he he doesn't look like a kid. He doesn't look really old. He looks like he might be the son of the dude outside you saw. Maybe. You're not. You can't really get an exact age. Maybe. Right. Because they live a long time. That's a big range. Alright, and it's just him in here? Yeah, there's no other customers right now. It doesn't look too busy. It's during the middle of the day. So, people are at work, people are outside. Right. And it's like open space, right? There's nothing, there's nothing like free, just out there. No, a lot of the big weapons are secured on the walls, hanging up. And again, the smaller ones like slingshots and the ammo are in displays up front. There's some decoration kind of on the walls as well. There's no shelves kind of on the floor all right um i go up and ask him and uh what is your name good sir oh uh my name is oh shoot i one moment <laughs> i had it up and then i didn't My name is Norl. Nor Norwell. Yes. Norl. Oh, Norl. My bad. Yes, Norl, Great Abel. Great Abel. Well, listen, Norl. Uh, I'm new in town, and uh, I'm thinking of uh, finding myself a supplier. For weapons in case my, my weapons get broken. And I was wondering, 
Not now. But the next time I come in, I might be able to ask for a discount. Maybe we can find a... Not, not at this moment, obviously, but if I were to become a regular customer of yours, would that be something I could do? I mean, you're gonna have to come in more than twice. That's not quite regular. And come, back, come now. You know, as adventuring partiers, we uh, we always go through our weapons so quickly. So yeah, I'll definitely know. probably come back more than twice. That also gives me a lot of customers. I don't do that for anyone else. I, I we run a business. Very well, very well. Then I'll take my hand crossbow. And I'll give him the 75. Yeah. Want any bolts with that? And how much would that cost me, sir? That would be... That's one gold for 20 of them. Done. Yes. So, 76 in total. I hand him the money and... <sighs> Disappointed, I walk out. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. And I walk back outside. No go. I'll stand up and wake my tail. <laughs> I'll just, uh, head him on the head. And I say to the rest, no go. Everything was too secure for me to really do my magic. Oh, well, that's These a shame. People, these people don't have any trust in their customers these days. Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah. Oh, he just smiles. <laughs> You're very cute in this form. You should stay like this more often. And then I growl. I think he's cute in his normal form too. I'll go sit over by Lan or Stella. Okay. Anybody so else? There's a few places we could go. The slums would be very easy money, but it wouldn't be much. Ah, uh, let's not rob the slums. I'm against that. Fair enough. I come from the slums, my guy. <laughs> the real area we don't want to go near is the Gravedigger's League. Too many people that are armed and paying attention. Right. Generally paying attention is a problem. To be honest, it might just be best if we wait for nightfall and do some classic breaking and entering. I'm good with that. I'm pretty good when it comes to f seeing in the dark. I think most of us here are. But it might not be a bad idea to check our location. Let's go to a relatively moderate neighborhood in wealth and try to scope out a good place with a rich old person. Just one person living <laughs> in this. That seems like a good idea. That would probably be a good place over here near the Cherry Way Western Exit. Green Watchers Grove and the All Rise. That's mostly middle class, more upper middle class. But middle class. Also, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of sat there and I was like, "What the fuck? Does, what does that mean?" All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna sneak off and turn back into my gnomish form so I can talk to people. We should still be behind the fences. I've at least been keeping one of them up. 
Mostly because I can see through them and nobody else can see through them. Seems like it's low end. Yeah, but yeah, it also means think it's not about it. I mean, not as many guards out. No yeah, private security. We have to deal with the that and, and other things that could arise. It's where the most people retire. So a lot of old people with no one else watching their place. People retire. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, in my family, we just work till you die. Yeah. If you're not making gold, what's the point of living? Well, that's kind of... Same. You can't work, you can't put food on the table, so you starve to death. There. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go do, rob some middle, upper class people. Or person. And think of it this way. We robbed them. They're only gonna live a few more years anyway. Always thinking a pretty cynical way to look at that. Now we're narrowing uh, it down to we're robbing an old middle class person. Well, of course. The well, they're retired. They're most likely going to be old. How about we just rob a dead person then? And just cut because then we have to go to the grave digger. Because then we have to, yeah. And we'd have to go and kill them, and hide the body, and, uh... Well, if they're already dead, why do we have to kill them? Yeah, that's what I'm Where will we find a dead body right now? Probably a graveyard. I suppose we could go grave digging, but that's just always a bit... That's not annoying. Much fun. It also kind of gets that's... interrupted easily by anyone who wants to visit a grave. Or literally anyone that's walking by. <laughs> Do it at nighttime. Nobody goes to the graveyard at night. You would imagine a lot. The graveyard is pretty big. It's not like tiny graveyard, so it, there's plenty of places. No, let's go rob a house. There's rarely any money on low end graves, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you sell the body parts to witches well, or whatever. Body parts are generally more useful when kept mostly no, alive. Preserved and fortune tellers can do lots with bones. We can do lots of bones, technically, but still. Let's get going. Yeah, let's go find some middle class person to rob. Are you saying you're going to scope it out and then come at night, or are you waiting? To you know what? I, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to steal an idea from somebody I were, I played with. I'm going to write a message in Thief Kent on the bottom of one of the streets in that in that area, and I'm going to ask, uh, "Where's the best place to steal?" And maybe see if they'll they'll respond. Yeah. And then we'll just scope and then come back later. Maybe somebody will answer me. Clever idea. I mean, we might as well look around still while we're waiting, though. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. So I just want to do that, too. Turn into a cat, jump around, glance through some windows, see who's in some of these houses. Yeah, I mean, if I get a couple hours to recuperate my energy... I could do that. time. But be a clean cat. Okay. I've never seen a dirty cat. Really? Oh, wow. there's, there's plenty of those, believe me. The believe person me. looks down at his grimy, just dirt covered, still little remnants of the sewage water from our last adventure on him. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Uh, I want to <laughs> clean that for you. No, nobody ever cleaned me. You didn't take a shower or a bath? I jumped in the water, in the sewer, as a man. I mean, it's running That's water. not... no. That sounds like a perfect, perfect back to me. Right? I don't understand the... Or the rat man. 
Clean water, Erston. Clean water. It's 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 cleaner than me, so it's clean, right? Is that... mm. Sounds right. You're cleaner than feces. I mean, the sewage feces is cleaner than you. That scares me. Either way. You know what sewage is, right? Yeah, it's when people uh, they take all the like their dishwater and stuff and they throw it out. Not just dishwater. That goes in the sewage. I'm going. I'm just gonna keep walking. Person just scratches his head and pulls the lock. All right, as you go, you can definitely tell you're getting into a uh, more upper middle class district. The streets are cleaner. The people walking are a bit wealthier. Uh, a few of you, specifically the guy that just admitted to being dirtier than sewage, look a bit out of place. Considering all what that, it? you get a few strange <laughs> I keep my disguise from earlier and just. Okay. Just tiefling with a nubby back. You can also. That. The lighting is a bit more upkept. Usually down at the docks. <laughs> And over at lower middle class, it's not bad, but usually it's just candles or paper lanterns. Up here, it looks like it sheds more light, so that might be something to take note of. The houses definitely look bigger and well kept. You see, it's kind of like suburbia. Kid toys on porches. Okay. On the just windows open, you can see glimpses inside. It definitely looks nice. Definitely looks like there might be some good things to snack. Not too many guards running around like what you see in the upper class rich people areas that you sometimes go through on your way out of the docks could be some good stuff you can find here not too many people watching you as long as you avoid the street lights do you guys want to roll investigation to see what you can pick out like specifically what you said you were looking for. Because they're definitely not all old people. And also, it's not 21st century or America or 21st century like Europe where well, it's not all Europe, but people don't always live alone. Sometimes they do. Sometimes there's like multiple generations living in one house. Well, I am there just. Oh, definitely. Right. I'm telling you, I got still have ruined my rolls before the game. Hey, I ruined my own rolls, and I'm still doing okay. Although a net one is pretty impressive. I I I saw a beautiful cloud in the sky. <laughs> And I'm just yeah, stuck on it. It's a beautiful day. An absolutely beautiful day. Oh, yeah, I was my deck of cards. Yeah, Sorry, guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is nothing new for Stella. <laughs> you point out to Ellen and Erston. They're just like, no, I don't think that's a cat. I think that's a dog. Wait, no, no. It's a mustache. It's a mustache. Yeah, that's a person. Stella's ignoring all of you right now. Yeah, that's pretty normal. <laughs> that's the sad part. <laughs> but he's actually looking. Uh, you see a home 
on one of the streets uh, while you're looking that seems smaller than the rest still definitely nice it's you don't see uh, signs of a lot of people that you can tell of course you can't always tell but you see an old couple out on the porch kind of talking human both of them probably in their late 60s dress pretty nice it's simple though like not extravagant it could definitely be something to look at it's on the end of a row of houses you guys have walked around closer to the wall than to the other streets about right here so there's not as many people like on all sides to see you out a window over here like if you were right over there to see across you also spot a sewage kind of what what's in a manhole yes thank you i keep <laughs> one great so if you need a quick exit, you you look at it and think, well, if we can actually get open for once, that could be a plus to doing it here. <clears throat> all in all, do you think this will be a pretty good first target than anything else we've seen? You saw a few other possible locations. I'll turn around. Have, well, Go ahead. It's about two story. It's two stories. Okay, let me write that down. But like, not as wide surface area. I'll turn it around was... and tell each of them individually through awakened mind. <laughs> By the way, sorry, Aloda. I speak into your mind. Oh. Yeah, it takes a little getting used to. It's okay, I only have a heartbeat once a minute, so... Oh, that can be some... I'm guessing that's going to be helpful. Is that... a tiefling thing? Cause I don't... No. I, I, I start, like, checking my pulse. No, it's, it's going. I'm somewhat concerned that you know accurately how to check a pulse. You have to do that often. For me? No. For no, others, sure. Hmm. Well, this a is a good first prospect. You want to keep looking for another one, or...? Um... Maybe if we, we can have... always come back later and check my message. See if uh, anybody answered. I just presume we're constantly speaking through our minds now. Sadly, it's only one by one, and yeah. Kat, is it still two-way, or...? It's still two-way. Okay. I checked it's two-way. Okay, well... I could go around back and sort of get a peek up top. Feel free? You have to spot for me, to make sure no one's coming. Also, Stuck into an alley. So, yeah. How... Sorry. Yes. House rules for the cat idea? Mm -hmm. I'm making it where cats have dark vision. If tabaxi have a thing where they say they have dark vision, like from being a cat, cats need to have dark vision. So That makes sense. Cool. I'm going to put that there because it makes sense. <laughs> if if tabaxi has it, there's no reason that actual cat wouldn't. If werewolves have dark vision, do dogs have dark vision? I think they actually some of them maybe. Let's check. Yeah. But Tabaxi specifically ties it into being a cat, so I'm Oh okay. Cats have dark vision. So when you're doing this thing, if you do it at night, 
I'm not making you roll with disadvantage. You get 60 foot dark vision. Okay. Uh, I have a better. Yes. Better than 60 feet? That's all it is. Yeah. So let's step into an alley. All of us will spot for you after pulling up in strict just to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Do you need help getting up there? Do you need me to give you a boost? Nah, I can fly. Also, I can fly. <laughs> that um, is most certainly what? useful. Yeah. Yeah, do we see anything? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go around back and sort of do my shirt in a way so I can use my wings. And then just go on up. Alright. You do that. Um, this is a... Since this is... It's smaller. Some of these... Uh, There's one or two that have three stories, but they kind of block you, so you shouldn't have to worry about from most directions. Alright. Someone seeing you from the ground. You... are you looking for other houses? I'm not quite sure what you're looking for. Uh, the house that Stello found. I just want to try to go up and try to, like, look through a window and maybe peer inside. Okay. So, you see... As you kind of duck your head down past the roof, look... You look in, and what's your passive... Uh, 12. Or passive stealth or passive perception? Perception. 12. So, you look in, you... They kind of like the two people you spotted it's very modest for a upper middle class home you see vases you see a few paintings that might be a good price to sell there's uh, in some other windows you see much of the same thing. It looks like decorations. They're still rather simple, but they might be worth more than what they look. You'd have to get a closer kind of look at them to see what they're made of. But while it's not well, with that, can I cast Mage Hand on the mm. other side of the window? Uh, can you? It doesn't say anything about... It says so long as you can see the point. What? Also, guys, just a reminder, please wait till I'm done talking, because it makes me lose track of what I'm saying and thinking. And if I start talking over you, please remind me, because I know I did that a few times. But I wasn't able to hear that last part. Yeah. So what did you say? Um... Here, I'll just ping an enchant. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna say yes. The window's closed though, so it can't like bring it out. It can and... open a window, can't it? Well, <laughs> yeah, sure. It can open a window. Yes. Uh, okay. So before I do anything, I'm gonna sort of, I'm gonna look back and sort of just poke my head, <laughs> trying to reference to Stello. I'm still looking through the street, so probably not seeing whatever he's doing. I'm looking up at him. I'm just gonna poke my head and point at Stello. Hey, Stello! Mm -hmm. Switch! And I'll go and take his spot. Okay. I cast the Minor Illusion for offense one more time, and then go up, open up the link. What's going on? Hey, I have, um... A mage hand inside, and I can open the window, maybe. Okay. And there's some uh, stuff in the room. Prop it open, but make it look like it's closed. We'll use that as an entrance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... I mean, we could just do it now. They're We know they're out on the front porch. Okay. Okay, sure. I'm probably not the sneakiest of all of us, but... You, could you... Here. Go ahead and go do that, and we'll continue watching. If you can keep yourself within view of me, I can tell you if you need to get out. Alright. Um, alright, I'm gonna try to use the mage hand to, uh, open the window. Alright, it opens up. Okay, I'm gonna... How much of an opening is there? If... Well, I'm gonna try to... Would I... Do I think I could probably get in? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try to... Weasel my way in. Quietly. For... Evident reasons. Alright. Then make myself. Alright. Nice. Yeah. All right. Ooh. You slowly, very carefully, have the mage hand open the window. Doesn't make a single sound. Oh, I need to make an expertise chart. In. Shit. <laughs> the feet land on a very plush rug that kind of dampens any noise you would have made. There's some paintings on the wall, some that are very small, others really big. Okay, There's how... Alright, oh, this is our LA finish. Alright, just let me finish. Yeah, I, I just... Answer. Yeah. It's a... small-ish room. It looks like it could be a study of some sort. There's a desk in the corner that could have some things in it. You see papers thrown about it. Uh, nice looking lamp. It's well lit by natural light. There's another win uh, window up behind the desk which looks out where the couple would be. There is a door to your left that probably leads to the rest of the house. There's a wardrobe near that door. And it looks fairly empty with the rest of it besides a bit of furniture, a bookshelf. Uh, that's what you see. Alright. Um, I'm gonna communicate with Stello. I'm gonna have to leave sight range for a few seconds. 
Is there anything pressing on the couple uh, front? Uh, I believe there's I'm a window right that, up sorry. Here. Oh, sorry. What'd you say? Anything progressing with the couple up front, or anyone potentially looking up? No. No, most people aren't looking up, and the couple are just talking to each other. How beautiful a day it is, just kind of enjoying each other's company. Okay, I'm Not gonna pick up. Someone to be inside. <laughs> I will pick up a rock if there's one nearby. Is there? Yes. I'll throw this at the wall lightly, and if you hear that, that's your call to get him back into range. Okay. Actually, better yet, I'll just I'll just make a sound that you will definitely understand. I drop the rock. Alright. I guess. Um, and with that I will make my way over to the desk. Trying to keep quiet still. Alright. You do? Alright. You, you see the papers clear now? It looks like one of them seems to be a writer. Poems, short stories from a glance. He looks to have some expensive ink and stuff on the top of the table. There's some drawers that you can rummage through. Yeah, I'm gonna look through the drawers. Alright. You mostly find more office supplies and a intricate letter opener that looks like it could fetch a few gold. Oh, uh, you... quickly pocket that. Right. You find some nice pins and uh, different kind of, again, office implements. Good quality, not amount of cash, although it probably would be for your average person. One gold would probably be a lot for an average person, no. but it, it's high quality stuff. The pins are, again, kind of have designs and stuff on them. Might sell for a gold a piece. There's four of those. I guess I'll snatch up the four pins as well. All right. There's also an artwork, an art piece on the wall next to the bookshelf that you glance at as you're doing this. Looks big enough to fit in a bag, or small enough to fit in a bag. Do you have a backpack? Yeah, it's over, it's actually over the... Wardrobe. Not wardrobe, wherever I called it. The wardrobe next, next to the door? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll head that way now. Still trying to keep quiet. You do. You rolled a 24, I'm not gonna make you roll again. Alright. <laughs> you do something that would require it. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'm gonna look at the painting and try to judge how much I think it'd be worth. Make me an investigation. Natural <laughs> one. Jesus. Nice. You think this will be worth about 40 gold? You see a signature at the bottom left hand one. corner that you, you don't know much about art, but you recognize it as being a very well-known artist in the city. It's... It looks... pretty good, do you guess? It's a picture of... 
looks like a little girl playing below a tree. Hmm. Very lifelike. Pretty frame. The frame might also be worth some gold, you think? Um, yeah, that's, that's it. For this room. Well, I also want to... You think? Open up the wardrobe and sort of check in there real quick. That has some... That's... It's mostly empty. All right. It has the more paper type stuff. It looks like where he stores his writing kind of in folders and stuff. You don't really think any of it's worth anything? Maybe yeah, his writing is really good. Alright, was there anything else in the room, or was that just the entire room? Uh, not in that one. There's just some furniture. More paintings, but they're a bit big. Yeah. <laughs> really grab. You could all always take them out of their frames, but you don't know if that would damage the paintings rolling them up. Yeah. You might be careful with that. They might still be big enough to poke out of your bag, so that looks kind of suspicious. Yeah. Do I want to steal a painting that might be a painting of their kid? Yeah, they'll definitely notice that. I'm saying this out of character. Yeah. I mean, walking through the streets. Not like the people living here would notice it. I think they'd already notice things I'm missing. Yeah, like a lead rope and some pins. <laughs> you still haven't checked anywhere else. You just checked here. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'll, like, go over to the door. And I'll sort of try to jiggle the handle a little bit, see if it's unlocked. It's unlocked. Alright. I'm gonna open it a little bit and sort of just poke my head out to check real quick. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anyone living with these people. It leads out to a short hallway. There's a door ahead of you. Um, on your left. No, right. It's on your right. Sorry. And then there is a staircase that goes down. Alright, I'm gonna... What you think would be facing the direction of the street once you go down. Yeah, I'm gonna head to the other door. Alright. I'm gonna try to open it. <laughs> okay. It's open. They don't seem to really lock anything. They feel very safe here. <laughs> um, I'll head inside and look around. That's just ridiculous. <sighs> You slowly open it. It looks like a child's room. Oh, shoot. It looks empty right now. But it's it definitely looks like a child's room. There's a <clears throat> little toy horse. You know the ones with the wheels on the floor? Yeah. Kind of the wooden one? Uh, brightly painted. There's some more artwork on the wall, but... Most of this is, um... Boy's head. It... Although you think it looks really neat for a child to live here, Kind of eerily so. Especially what I know from children. Right. Or at least what my character knows from children. What? Uh, my character grew up in an orphanage. <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling bad. <laughs> I don't want to steal from these people. Even, like, kids in orphanages typically aren't that neat, I would think. 
I don't think my kid got do bullied. Not. My character got bullied. <laughs> I'm right, just gonna, uh, look in uh, or I'm gonna back out of the room and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So the only option is downstairs now. Uh I'm gonna go back into the room that I started in. Alright. So you're not going downstairs? No. Nah. <laughs> Alright. Go back in the room you started in. Uh, I'm gonna put the shit that I've lifted just back on the table. I feel bad for these people. Which thing are you putting back? <laughs> uh, the pins and the letter opener. The two things that I've taken. You also took the picture. You keep in the picture? No, I, I, no, I didn't. I just looked at it. I didn't want to take it off the wall. Okay. Once I looked at it and it's not kid, I was like, oh, they, their kid died. I feel bad. <laughs> now I found a kid's room. <laughs> It's eerily neat. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I'm just gonna go back to the window. Alright, you do that. I'm gonna flat the window, cast mage hand, have it close the window, and go on down. Ooh, what'd you grab? I think their kid killed themselves. <laughs> well, okay, so did they get any inheritance from it? Uh, you know, I don't want to steal from people that lost a kid. Oh god, not another. <sighs> I have to agree with the new guy, that's kind of that's scummy. I mean, they might not have lost a kid, but there was a child's room that was just perfectly neat. Have you considered... That they to <sighs> kidnap a kid. Alright, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> I'm just saying, people. you shouldn't assume that these people are great people. I look over and say, thousands of people have children. Thousands of people here have children. Are you not going to steal from any house that has a child in it? Gotta agree with this one. I'm not stealing from these people. Fine, if you won't, do you have any problem with me doing so? Uh, I just say we... another house. Yes, because we've been here long enough. Fine, Someone's about to get suspicious. Go. Thank you for the waste of time. No problem. <sighs> Let's look for another house, then. Elon's no longer aroused. As divides begin in the party already. Because <laughs> my character is. Take a break here. Okay. Sure. Alright. We'll be back. I have a decent person for a character. <laughs> chose the wrong party. Hey guys, we're back. So, to recap from the break. They decided to find a house to steal from in the upper class or middle upper class district. They found one with a old couple sitting up out front, didn't seem to be anyone else there. Infiltrated it, or a lot of did. However, when they found the child's room, a lot of put everything back. And so we're going to see what happens next. This should be interesting. And back to you guys. Next house, I'm stealing. Ah, uh, guys. Let's just not steal from people that lost a kid. So you what? I... You use your wings, you have a high point over the ground. It'll be better for communication. I'll relay between you and everyone else. Lon, you go in. Got it. A tiny little animal and... Yeah, you can go in as well. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I'm more than happy to sit outside and keep watch. And we'll try it as best as we can. I just need a win today, you guys. I couldn't steal from that weapons guy. I couldn't I steal. steal from those people. So. I couldn't steal from those people. So I need a win. Well. 
I have morals. Okay, have fun with What time is it? Uh, it's probably <laughs> around... 2 o'clock in the afternoon by now. Guys, I say we, we come, come back, back later. later. See, see if anybody answered, answered my message. If yes, yes we'll go there. there. If not, we'll go somewhere else. What oh, message? You could look around a bit more. I wrote a message. I wrote a message in Thieves Camp on one of the Thieves Camp. On one of the street. Thieves Camp. You know what I mean. So they can't. Stella just looks at Elon confused. You, you mean Evan Camp? Thieves Camp. I've never heard of that. I don't know that one either. I just know Evan Camp. Isn't Evan Camp the same thing as Thieves Camp? Because we're thieves. Nope. That's, yeah, that's not to the DM. That's in character. No, there's Evan Kent, which is what we use in our, and I'm using Evan Kent now, <laughs> uh, which is what we use in this thing. But there are other thieves out there that use their own language, which is what I use as well. Wait, so you left a message to random thieves? We have our own network. That makes sense. It's kind of like when okay. I talk to other druids. I mean, you guys won't recognize my signs. So you have a network of thieves when you're within a network of thieves? It's Networking meta. is part of the job. Okay. Don't try to think too hard on it. You'll break your brain. Show us where you left the message, and I'll go scoping out myself and come back to you then. I was going to say, I'm going to keep scouting. I'm not going to waste time yeah. all over town. So I'm going to go back and see if somebody, um, there's answered my message before you walk off i'm gonna grab you let's agree on a place to meet first and then we'll all come back here at a certain time the other side of that person's house we just try to steal but yeah, just near the gate so an mm -hmm. hour before dusk let's say sure yeah all right and then i'll go so okay. wandering off stella will as well all right hmm. So you're all splitting up? <laughs> yeah. Because DMs love splitting the party. <laughs> Maybe we should stick together up. for investigating houses. Yeah. Okay. So who all is going where? I'm going Everyone... back to... Yeah. Everyone is scoping out separately except for Alon who is going back to their message. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone give me a direction they're going in. North. Wherever we came in from. Slightly west. I guess that leaves south. <laughs> Alright, everyone make me investigation checks again. Let's get a third nat 20. Let's Damn it. Oh, God. Let's get double digits. Uh, don't... Screw yeah. me over. Ugh. Oh, it's better than a one. Starting with a lot of... You find nothing better than the house you backed up on. Hey, they aren't worth stealing from. You're not having luck. Most of them you see. Seem to have multiple people. You see people inside. Um, you see some that look empty, but you can't tell for sure. They look pretty expensive, but at the same time, with your knowledge, ones that look like that usually have more things guarding them, so you're not sure if that's worth it or not. For Erston, it's pretty much the same thing. Hello, also very much the same thing, although you had seen a few other possible targets before. You're still not sure if they're gonna be your best bet or not. But the ones you're looking You know what? Yeah, sure, get advantage because you already noticed stuff before. 
Well, and it's Me too, just, or...? It, it would be because I'm a tiny little creature that nobody's gonna be able to see. Like, I'm just gonna crawl around as, like, a centipede or something. Oh, so well, that would time. actually probably make it take longer for you, and... Yeah. I'm not sure what benefit that would give for looking... Well, because nobody can see me. I can go freely in the houses. Oh, that they're... makes... Yeah. You know what? That makes sense. Sure. But that I mean, actually makes sense. I won't see as many houses, but I'll at least be more thorough. Mm -hmm. And meet you with cross-referencing? The what? Uh, never mind. Alright. So... find one you think will be pretty good. Uh, it's actually a bit bigger house. You don't see signs of any children, so you don't think a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Uh, pretty early on in your search, so you have more time to go through and look. There's a Half elven woman cooking in the kitchen. Looks like she's making something for you, prepping for later dinner. Not really starting to cook yet because it's so early. Okay. Um, you pass her by. It looks like they have very nice silverware that you see. Excellent. Mm. Look. Silver type silverware. Okay. Um, you look in some bedrooms. There's some chests. There, expensive looking clothing. You see a jewelry box. Okay. There, that's by the bed. Although if you come in later, of course it will be where they are. You crawl along the ceiling upstairs. Uh, you see a desk, uh, a kind of room with a desk and some, like, just a general office, kind of like what you heard described by Lada. Okay. And you see a big, kind of just open room. Looks like they've stored stuff in there. Mm. Oh, uh, it also has a mini library perfect. in the house, too. Okay. That's what you see for that one. On my way out, I'm going to mark on the outside of their, their house um, a little druid symbol for hunting ground. Alright. And block this place in my mind. You also... Don't know. You think other people live there, but you you only saw that one. You also saw another bedroom upstairs. It might be parents. It didn't look like a child's room. Okay. <laughs> parents. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, maybe not as elderly as the others, but. True. Okay. Or. Ellen, um... Elon. From what I keep saying, Ellen? The Fawn. I'm sorry. Just, Just think of the Fawns. Elon. As he goes down, making his way back to the message he left, it's getting later on. You see people coming back. Uh, you see... Uh, people stopping to talk to each other. You look around the houses. You don't see too much from the outside. You also already passed all these houses. You're kind of just... Too much... You're breaking up, Kat. But... You're breaking up. I didn't hear that last part. Oh. Well, that's nice. Am I better now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
you already walked this path before? And Stello had been looking? Uh, you think you had covered it pretty well last time? You don't really uh, find anything from the outside? That looks really noticeable in this particular area? When you get back, you don't see that anyone has replied to your message yet. Is it still early in the day? It, it's not close to meeting time yet. It's a bit later, but you would know from hanging around others. While this is an area people sometimes go into, most of the time it's the lower middle class they target or around the harbor, at least with the people you're with. Mm -hmm. And it, they also tend to come out later in the day when people or night while people are asleep. So it could just be that nobody's really around this area right now. Mm -hmm. One that happens by later, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. But as of now, there has been no luck with that. Okay. And what other areas are there that haven't been investigated yet? Or has it already been kind of covered by the other guys? It's been covered, and um, you guys asked before you all went off, other people are looking in the other areas right now. Okay. You can still try and look around. I'm gonna... It's hard to tell from the outside not being inside the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, uh... I don't want to start climbing so that... I don't want to go looking into anyone's houses just yet by myself. So I, um... I'm gonna make back... I'm gonna go back to that gate where, uh, they told us... Uh, Erston told us to um, meet up, and on my way, I'm just gonna keep an eye out. Okay, you do that. Um, still can't really how much from where you are walking down the street. You go back where you said you'd meet up. Is anyone else back yet? Anyone else decided to go back early, or are you all still searching? I'm gonna search till I'm out of time. Same. Yeah, I'll search some more. Alright. So, Erson, since you're actually going into houses, you're gonna find a few more places look good some look really good but you kind of discount them we have none where is but it's the first one big room yeah okay. after the first instance you don't want to champ it right but you find this one uh, that looks pretty nice near the Promenade River and bridges. Okay. Uh, that's the nicest upper class area. In the interest of time, is that's it? The first one. I mean, well, if the no, first you didn't one is the best one. one. I'm just probably the first I described. It's not the richest, but it was in a good location. Yeah, to it's... make a getaway if you needed to, and to be blocked from being seen by a lot of other houses. Okay. So, high risk, high reward, or lesser risk, and still a, enough good stuff to grab. That's, I'm gonna call it good, and I'm just gonna, I mean, once I 
Check out the rest of the places I'll head back. Alright. And everyone else, your investigation rules didn't really turn up anything. Do we roll again or no? Uh, no, I'm just using this as one roll. Cause you know, okay. It interrupts it. No, really, I'm just starting to check off houses that I've already checked start going in a line to places that were okay, but... Yeah, but, uh... You guys didn't roll the best numbers this time? Yeah, I would have to agree. <laughs> if nothing happens, we'll go back to the gate. Or at least I will. Did it actually go inside? Them? Might have been hard in general to find something. Uh, probably would have found something eventually. On Earth, but Ellen might have. Let's if... not worry about the maybes. Yeah, let's just continue. Yeah. All right. So time passes. It's about time to meet up. You all go back to. The spot you agreed on. It's getting darker now. People are going around and lighting the lamps up again for the night. Streets so are thinning out a bit from people as they all head home. Alright, folks, I found a, just a perfect house. No child's room. That's good money. It's a good escape route. You should be able to get in and out nice and quick. Yeah, let's go. All your leads. Sounds, sounds good to me. Yeah, let's go. So I'll lead the way. Okay. He leads you down the roads, passing uh, all kinds of other houses and lead you up to one that seems nice a bit more kind of um, not flashy but looks a bit well off yeah than the other one a bit bigger not by much but it is uh, there's some windows that you should be able to get access to, <coughs> and the rooms, Erston can probably point you to one that's on the second floor. Yeah, I'll scratch out the layout for him. Yeah, give me the rundown. You were inside of it. Yeah. Super easy nice. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, I think it's definitely best that you go inside this time. You have a view already. But how will he go? Pockets. And he'll need someone to carry the stuff with him. Well, I can go ahead and scout it out. Make sure people are in certain places, and then you guys come in after me. You can go in and open the door. Or window, whichever one. But we have to make sure there's nobody inside or at least asleep. Well, you can do that. that. They'll probably be asleep. It's only like nine. Yeah, well, that's why I wanted this time, because I could take a short rest to get my charges back. Yeah, let's sit down. Probably uh, go somewhere else slightly away from the place first. Right. Wait, I'm yeah. gonna go walking up to it. I assume I'm pointing out the place saying that's what we're gonna rob in Evan. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So you do that. And once dark falls, um, let's, uh, I'll go find a downstairs. Well, climb in upstairs. 
that's just another tiny little crater. Like, I'll turn into another, uh, like a centipede. Uh, not a centipede, uh. What's a good mouse. Oh, mouse. Rat. I can't fly. I'll I said mouse. rat. Oh, rat. Rats are big. <laughs> there. Turn into a mouse. Okay, you're gonna need somebody to get the window open for you. Uh, I got that. I can do that. I was gonna say our flyer. Yeah, you guys just keep watching. I'll open the one of the farm. Alright, I'm gonna say you do it easy. No roll of anything required. Alright. Okay, follow, am I following him in or are we. Nope. Did have... I'm gonna let no, you we're watching outside. We're watching outside until he scouts the place. Oh, okay. Okay. So you do that? You crawl around? Uh, make me a perception, please. Oh god. I'm sorry in advance, folks. Get my natural 20 levels. Oh, wow. <gasps> yeah. yeah! Perfect. Oh. Wow. Actually, I... As you go around, do you notice a person that had not been there before? Two people? Uh, one is an older gentleman, about 50. The other is a young human who... Both of them are human, but a young human who looks in his 20s. You also notice a dog. Oh, God. Oh, no. You think it might have been out last time? Maybe they had took it to Watcher's Grove to just wander around? But there is a dog. Okay. It's a rather large dog, too. Of course it is. Oh. <laughs> Alright. And the, uh... We're gonna have to kill it. Very big. Very muscled. And you notice... Very immediately, a very sharp-looking sword that is near the entryway. This place is a little more... You want to be very careful. Very quiet. And hopefully find out where they keep the dog. So does he look more like a like a guard or a mercenary kind of thing? He looks like he might be part of the Adventure League. Okay. I mean, not Adventure League. Why did I say that? The Grave Diggers. Because there's Adventure League for D&D. For the Grave Diggers League? Maybe? You're not sure? Okay. Could be. Looks like a type of guy that could go doing that and maybe not die immediately. Okay. I'll scurry back outside then. Alright. So we have a problem. Apparently, what would that be? Apparently not only do they have a giant dog, they also have a guard. So, so much for not... perfect. That's catsless, let me RP it. Yeah. <laughs> well I can probably kill the dog, but knocking it unconscious would probably Oh, I can cast sleep. I mean, Depend I can find where the dog is, but I don't... I mean, that guy is looking like he's seen some fights. Casting sleep would be, I assume, putting them to sleep? Yes. Against what does that do against people that are already asleep? Nothing? Magical sleep? Okay, so we get a second chance if we wake them up. That's nice to know. There we go. So are we all going inside, or is somebody staying out here to keep watch? I think we should all go inside. I don't think that'd be smart. I'm pretty good at sneaking around, but... Me too. I'm not too bad at sneaking around. I think we're all probably decent at sneaking around. Actually, I'm pretty terrible at it. Uh, Erston can stay out here. Well, I can also stay in a tiny little mouse, so... True. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious. Hmm. How often can you turn into things? I could do it twice, and then I need to rebuild my energies to do it again. So you've already done it once, oh no. Yeah. We might want to save that just in case. I wouldn't want you to be vulnerable. Yeah. 
Besides, you're already a small person. You can blend in with shadows out here pretty well. I can do that. There's gonna be a bush. If we're committed about doing this. Okay. Well, I'm our only person I think that can force someone to go to sleep without. I can. Without dying. Them. However, okay. I hand a load of my grappling hook. Here, just hook this up into a window upstairs. That's how we'll get in after we're sure that no one's coming and looking at us. But. Who do you hand that to? And it's a flyer. Oh, got it. Why? Um, alright, I'll sort of fly up to the window that I just opened for Steve. Alon says to himself, that's getting a little annoying now. Do a quick little, uh, check. Make sure we all roll. There. We all roll deception, cat, or? Oh, one moment. I was busy doing something. Oh god, I hate it. apparently. Go ahead and roll perception uh -huh. as you're going and checking something out. Jesus. Well. well. Oh my god. Oh my I'm at 20 and you're rolling terrible. I'm blind. You, I'm blind. Guys. Guys, I can't. I can't see. I got something in my eye. If the other one is suddenly distracted by me. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, shoot. Okay. Be, be. And is not paying attention. Erston is paying attention as well. I, I know what's up. <laughs> um, a lot, a lot of, uh, semi paying attention, not with detail. Kind of watching yeah. Alan right now. Alan. Alan, why can't I get that? Okay. I will eventually. I will get <laughs> Promise, I will get your name eventually. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys are going in the house. Erston's staying outside, right? It, that was the plan we agreed on, yeah. Yeah. Current setup is he's going in the window putting a grappling hook for us non-flyers. Erston is staying outside and we're all ex we're all watching for people seeing the flyer at the moment. So he Ella is just kind of flying enough to get there and he kind of grabs the edge so he can stay against the side of the house. Opens it up and kind of drops back down. No one notices them. The streets are empty now. Everybody's going home. They're not really looking in between the houses. He he seems like he's good. Nobody that you saw noticed him. And the window was open. He has Elon, you go first. And you are... are you going now? I thought we were gonna wait. Or... I mean, I can go now. I'm just making sure everyone's asleep inside. Erston, was everything asleep? DM, was everybody asleep? Or... I, I think you guys have talked about waiting for them all to go to bed. Yeah, and then kept... Passing sleep on the dog if it was awake. Okay, that's why then. I, yeah, my whole goal is just keep people asleep that are coming here. My. Okay. How about this? I'll, I'll go in, and I'll, I'll go in as my mouse again. I'll find where the dog is. And I'll make sure they're asleep. I'll go in. I'll scout out where the, the dog is. I'll leave. I'll rebuild my energies while we wait for them to go to sleep. And then everybody go in. Mm-hmm. We 
wait again. We go all night. We haven't really been waiting yet. There's no real time limit here. So when the candlelight finally fades everywhere else? Pretty much. So that's good. So I'm gonna you know, start for the dog care. You guys got kind of quiet and I can't really understand what you said. I'm, oh no. I'm still uh, waiting for the dog. We're gonna take a short rest and wait for everybody to fall asleep. Alright. You go in, and you know what, I'm just gonna let you keep that perception roll, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Easier, and speedier walk. Uh, it looks like there's a dog bed close to the entrance of the house, and what would be the living room. Uh, that's probably where it sleeps. Are there any windows or anything that would look on the dog bed? Yeah, it won't look on the dog bed, but there are windows in the living room. Like, if I had an angle on that window, is there any possible way you can see the dog bed? It, the dog bed is, like, under the window. Like, not under, under, but on that wall. Okay. So... So you'd have wouldn't to be peering in the window, bed, basically. Because it's like right next to the door. On that area. Okay. So it's kind of like just to the side and under the windows. Okay. Um, and what do they use to close the windows off from the outside? Uh, there's shutters on the outside. There's also some fancy looking curtains that look to be there more for display, but you probably could put them over the window. Okay. Although it might attract attention because people, again, typically have them for displays. Right. I'm actually looking more for the other way, like we want vision from the window in. Um, yeah, the panels open kind of outward, okay. so you could probably open it from the outside. Okay, perfect. So I'll go back and relay that to everyone, uh, and so if you can, I assume you need to be able to see the dog in order to put it to sleep. Uh, yes, I do. So we can just open those shutters. A little bit. Hopefully, you can just peer in that way. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go take a nap. Okay, well, let's short rest again. Well, that's our first one. We're. It... Okay. Timeline gets screwed up. That's one time. Alright. So, you guys are short resting. I'm guessing you guys are watching the windows. There's one close to the bedroom which you scouted out. For a while, you see candlelight. Uh, you can see figures moving around. After a while, all the light goes out. Uh, they're at least going to bed. You don't know if they're asleep yet, so you wait a bit longer to make sure they're all passed out. And you think it's good to go? I have a question. Did um did Elada see inside the window where he put the grapple hook? Possibly a little. You want to got him. Would he, would he know where that window leads to? Well, I uh, no. told you guys. Yeah, he went into the. I went to the same window that he went through. Oh, okay. okay. Just so we're not entering somebody's bedroom. I mean, if we are, clear view. Yeah, Alright, 
I'm ready if you guys are ready. Yeah, let's do this. Ready to go. I'll go first. <clears throat> I'm gonna climb up. Alright. You get inside? Uh, actually, yeah. You guys get inside. Some of you have trouble, maybe. Uh, depending on the strength scores, uh, anyone with strength below 10, can you make me a athletics or acrobatics? I'll let you use either one. Wait, we can't climb rope? Wait, I can fly. Wait, Why am I even trying to roll this? I can fly. I have a strength of 10, so... I have 8, so I guess I'm rolling a strength check. Rope. Have you <laughs> tried climbing a rope in gym class? With gym yeah, it's pretty easy. No. That no. That requires upper upper body, upper body strength. Yeah, yeah I got it. Here you go. Or I'm dead. <laughs> Pretty sure we can climb rope at half speed though, but yeah. Okay, then yes. I mean if we're trying to be sneaky. Athletics is for climbing. Usually you have I think that's for sheer cliffs. <laughs> Uh, Dams in the past have made me roll for it. it so they sense. might have been wrong. They were wrong about the disadvantage in the dark, so it's very well they could be for this. Oh well. What happens? Do an yeah. athletics check, maybe. You can just go. I'm. It's fine. Um, it it would make sense if you could do it like half speed. No, I think that's just actually how. Never mind, never mind. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's how it goes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. DMs in the past have had inaccurate information. Awake in mind. Alon, what do you see? Do I make perception? You would probably see exactly what was described to you by Erston earlier. I repeat all that to Stello. Okay, DM, repeat all of that to me. Because you kind of explained a lot to Erston. And be specific. <clears throat> What's immediately inside the window? Erston, which room did I first put you in? <laughs> uh, I described a few different rooms. Yeah, no, that's Never what I'm trying to think of now, because I listen to all of them, and I don't remember which one is first. We're going upstairs. Uh, yeah, this wasn't it, it, the bedroom. What? It was not the bedroom. Yeah, it wasn't the bedroom. I don't think... Maybe a hallway? Well, I mean, it was definitely a hallway. Yeah, because there was a room on my left, and I think that was the bedroom. And then there was okay. another room, and then there was the elder person's room on further down. Alright. That's about all If you're going to the second story, and you're trying not to go in the bedroom, you would have pointed them to the study. The study. I, think I assumed you went in the first floor first because the window well, would... was open. The so window was open. open. But, but we we went, went up the, the the rope. Yeah, when he was up the rope, we'll say that was it because he those were the only two rooms up there. The bedroom and the study. Okay, so we're in the study. Word yes, well, hey, it was a study. Do you remember what was in the study? I don't know. Person. Study. Yeah, and do you remember what was in the study? Yes, it looked a lot like the one that you got, that, uh, that had been seen before. It's a bit smaller. Uh, it doesn't look like it's used that much. There's office supplies, a desk pushed up against the wall, and it, it just looks like a more ordinary office. Doesn't really strike you with that much stuff in here. Loda, where are you right now? Describing. What? I am inside. 
I believe. We're, We're both, both inside, inside, I think. Uh, yeah. Mindu, is there a tiptoe in my way? No. I'll wake in mind to each of you individually. I'll keep a lookout and try to hear towards the door. You guys check this room. I'm going to start to rummage. Like, I, I assume there's a desk and, a, like, a bookshelf and something. Yes. There's also a library that he described to you um, in an, another room, it looked like. This is a, this room has, like, a small bookshelf. It's not very big. It looks like it has journals and stuff, like, people that buy a lot of notebooks and they never use them and they just keep it for aesthetic and it's all over the place. I take, I take a notebook just to out of spite. What are you doing out of spite? What are you spiting them for? I'm taking a notebook because I want to steal something. Okay. This is my loot today. Okay, then. And I'm gonna, um, so... I'm gonna go... Is there any books that stand out to me? Like, anything that looks... I don't know, expensive or just... I don't know. Well, in here, there are some expensive-looking notebooks and journals. Like, books in general are fairly pricey for most people. Mm. And blank ones would be able to be used more without tearing out previous pages. So you could probably take some of those and get, like, a few gold. Actually, I'm gonna take all the notebooks. How many notebooks are in here? <laughs> I don't think you can carry all of them. Damn it! I mean, they're darn it! They're not like those tiny notebooks today. They're like the journals. Down journals. Oh, okay. I'll take one of those and put it inside my coat. Um, I'll leave the books and I'll start looking through the desk. If there's a desk or whatever else in here. Alright, there's parchment and stuff like there was at the other place there's there's not as much because it's not often used you don't see any writings like that was at the other one that a lot of would have mentioned no letter openers no stamps there's, there's one letter opener it, that might be worth something. You don't really find anything else in there that would be worth much. I'm taking the letter opener. And then I'm, I guess I'm going to try... The dog is downstairs, right? Yes, it's... What else is downstairs from my Urson told other than the dog? Uh, jewelry, bedrooms, and now that you're going, like, actually walking around, can you roll me a stealth check? Yeah. I was gonna, um, I was gonna, um, before I was gonna go downstairs, I was just trying to remember, I'm gonna ask Alota to come with me to go down. Yeah, Thank I'll come with you. And I'll make a stealth check. Hey. Nice. Yeah, I should make a stealth check. Yes. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Keep away from me. Them. No backpedaling. Can my stealth check help him a little bit? He comes through the window, and as he does that, he trips a little, and you freeze, and you try and listen. You don't hear anything stirring downstairs, but you just look at him, and it's like, I hope this isn't foreshadowing for things to come. I'm trying so hard to make my eyes glow, even though I know I can't, but I want him to just, I'm, tr I'm feeding off like my infernal legacy, just trying to make them glow a little bit. All of a sudden, my heart beats. <laughs> Can you saw the charger? No, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, for uh, can I? I thought that was only for um sound. No, 
You can make your eyes glow. You can. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna use sabotage to make my eyes glow and just glare at him. Alright. And then I'm gonna go downstairs. Ease the door open, being very, very careful after that entrance of your teammate. <laughs> you, knowing that houses tend to settle on their floors and kind of creep near the middle, you kind of skirt around the edges, looking around. I'm gonna try to find it. The jewelry was in the bedroom or in this uh, living room? Remember, let me finish real quick. Sorry. You edge down the stairs. It's wood, so at one point it kind of creaks and you freeze again. Looking back, wondering if it was you or a lot of. As you come down, you see, from an angle, the dog laying next to the door, which the staircase will pass right by. It's a fairly big dog. It looks like what we would know as a Kind of the size of a Doberman, shaped more like a, uh, not quite shaped like it, but about that size. I'm gonna take well, carefully. On. Above okay. board. Mage Hand says it can't carry more than 10 pounds. It doesn't say anything about pulling anything that's more than 10 pounds. What's the ruling on this? I would rule that it can't. Okay. I think it, especially since the dog and like other stuff would be much more than 10 pounds. Yeah. So I'd say no. Alright. I'm gonna um, take out real quietly my hand crossbow, put a bolt in, and just keep it on him, on the dog, as I try to creep around him. Okay. Elana, are you following, by the way? Yeah. Alright, so first off, you know that crossbow would not be silent at all, so you're hoping you don't have to use it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a lot of- I'm Very much. You are trying. You really are. You are way behind her. Him. Due to really trying. But at one point, you start to trip and you catch yourself. But the dog starts to stir. Am I able to see the dog? You come into view of the dog. Sleep. Well, <laughs> that... What is the save? It's no save, I just roll 5d8. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yep. If it's uh, higher than PHP of things that it's hard at low levels, it's really good. I hate doing this, but I have a question. Is back asleep. Is is Alon in the range? No, it's who you selectively target. Uh, it, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just checking it. Oh, man. You were hoping I would fall asleep. You guys ask if there's fighting. You always go for the path with no fighting, so I want your complaints about not getting into fights, okay? I just want to point out super quick, it does say it ignores unconscious creatures, so sleep does not work on them. Alright. 
Well, he was stirring, right? So he was yeah, about to fall. Up. He was about to wake up. He was waking up. Right, but it wouldn't affect Wait. anybody else for future reference. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Alon is awake. I am I'm awake. Alon, though. And is there 20 feet in that room? Holy. I'm reading. Okay, as soon... I'm like kind of like keeping. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Within 20 points. You choose within range or affected in ascending order of their current hit points. Within range or affected in ascending order of their current hit points. So actually, yes, it would include him. No. No, it's but fine. It's no. just you choose. In a point you choose, not creatures you choose. But, Within a point of range. Oh, you could choose for him not to be in. Yeah. Yeah. Is there 20 feet in that room? Holy, this is uh, the jackpot. No, but you could make it within range or well, actually, You can't make it go outside the walls, can you? Because you have to have point of sight. Well, you could look through a window and maybe make it like that. I could just set a point next to a wall. Okay. There's enough room. It's a 20 foot radius. So that's only 10 feet. So no, it's 40 wall. feet. Within 40 feet diameter. diameter. Within 20 feet. Oh, God, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Not really, but. Within 20 feet? I mean, that's. Math! It could be either way, easily. Yeah, if, if the DM says there's a window, window there's a window. Yeah. I mean, I already mentioned the windows, so I can't really go back on that. Okay, to keep this going along, I'm going to... I guess I was waiting to see what was going to happen, and when I see that nothing's happening, I put my hand, my hand crossbow away, and I start trying to sneak into the room where the jewelry box is. Alright. You open the door, and there are two people asleep in there. Um, a man and a woman. Okay. Sounds like what was described by Erston. And as you see this, that dude is definitely really muscled. Uh, from what you can see of his large size in the dark. Mm -hmm. And what, can I see where the jewelry box is from my point of view? It's right, it's on a dresser right next to the girl side of the bed, pushed up against the wall, so you're going to have to cross them. How big is it? It's about that, like if you look at the camera, it's about this big? Can you see me? Yes. Alright, about that big. Okay. I look at, um, Olada, and I- I whisper as low as I can. Do you think you can mage hand it and bring it towards us? If it weighs less than ten pounds. Do you want to try it? Can you- he can- he, can he pick it up and bring it so it doesn't- like, drag against the floor? Yes. Okay. okay, if it weighs less than 10 pounds, Mage okay. can carry it within the range. Alright, do it. Alright, and I'll just, uh, cast and he, Mage Hand. Erston said that there was a sword. Is the, I, Can I see the sword anywhere? It's back by the door. And the resting on the table. Alright, well, might... cast Mage Hand. Okay. And then, I'm gonna have it go over to the jewelry box, and try to pick it up. Okay. If it's able to. Pick up the sword? The jewelry box. No. The jewelry box. I already said you could with Oh, okay. I didn't hear that, sorry. My bad. Um, and then I'll just have it come back with the jewelry box. And then I'll take it and put it in my bag. Okay. Okay. Can 
Do I do I see the sword? Can I reach for it? Yeah, it's in the living room with the dog. Oh, with the dog! Damn it! The dog's asleep. How? Co- I know. The dog's I know. Sleep for a little bit longer. Okay, Forced so I sleep for a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then I then I'm going. Once I see a lot of finish that, I'm gonna walk back and try to grab the sword and take that with me. And then I'm. Yeah. Yeah, less than a minute. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to signal to Ko back upstairs so we can get the heck out of here. And I'll slowly make my way back upstairs. So, it is starting to wear off by now. Um, Eli, can you make me another self check? Oh, Jesus. Alright. Uh... <gasps> Why they're nat 20 and are rolling terrible all damn long, Jesus Christ. Can you do the cantrip again? Oh yeah, I still have two more casts. <laughs> do it, man. Do it, man, do it! Yeah, you're, just... all, you're going up the stairs now, right? Yeah. Or at least I'm near the stairs. And your back is to it. So would you see that? Uh, whether or not I'd see it because I've been saying I've been playing lookout since the moment we got in, but you haven't really been asking me anything. Well, we we're upstairs though. Can you see down here? I don't know. I'm I've been waiting for like a tell. No one's talked to me. No one. So um, I don't think you'd see it because the only windows in that room are again above the dog's head, and if that angle, you wouldn't see it from outside. And you'd also have to be in front of a uh, house, like at the front where the street lamps are. So I'm not sure if you want to do that or not. Aren't you upstairs? Yeah, he's upstairs. No, no we're. we're- up these stairs. Yes. Okay, say names. There okay. are people here. <laughs> say names. Ilara, Ilara and Elon Ilan are downstairs trying to go up. And yeah. Stello is upstairs looking down. Okay, I guess that's where I am. Isn't that where you would... Because you climbed a rope. Isn't that where you... Yeah. 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 Climbed... yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been with them until they went downstairs, but I haven't been rolling anything because no one asked anything. <laughs> I thought you we're looking out outside. I didn't hear you say you were going up. Like I thought you had discussed it earlier, but you didn't say you were. Okay, just so you know, I also put in roll 22. Okay, I didn't see that. That's my bad. Okay, so I'm, I'm right behind him, and I go, because I assume Elada just made a noise. Okay, but you... You're walking up. And a lot of... My persona also look back if I trip. This not as bad as last time. But he does. And he kind of lets out a... <gasps> and all of a sudden you hear... Growling. <sighs> Mind you. Uh, look and back and sleep. It. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it might be an initiative uh, roll. Okay. See well, first the bark or the cast. Yeah. Roll initiative for that, just to see which one of you react first. Just. You and the dog. Only you and the dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one else. Just you and the dog and let me pull it up. Well, there might be a chance for a fight. Um. Or just run. Either way. Let me try and get a dog up. Because I have it. But... Alright. Wait, do I not have a dog on you? Oh well, we're going to use, um, this, uh... I also have the sword, so... 
Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see. A mastiff. That works. And... Yes! yes. I guess you act first. And the dog... Is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you a point, you asked for one. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll just put it in there, so that way yeah, we know, I guess. The no, first no. Thing asked for the fight, I'm gonna be the first one gone, because if I hear noises in the house, then fuck you all, I'm out. <laughs> and I guess I'll go back trying to get out of the house. <laughs> and we start walking back upstairs and trying to get the heck out of here. Yep. <laughs> You, as you go up, you do hear, uh, slight stirring, but no one comes out. Because you guys are on the other side of the house. Probably should have made that roll a bit. I'm just gonna full dash it out of here, dude. Yeah, I'm just getting out. Yeah. So you guys go, and I'm guessing you meet up with Stello and leave. Yeah. I make sure to take my grappling hook back. Okay. And I say, job well done, let's get the heck out of here. Let's get out. Steve, anything interesting? Ah, uh, sorry. Kirsten, anything interesting happening? Uh, I watched some fleas hump each other for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm unsure if that says anything good about you watching. <laughs> As we're walking back, I'm gonna take that sword that I stole, and I'll proudly like start swiping at any bushes and gardens I see on my way. Okay, are you guys walking out in the open, like on the main street? We're, we're we're staying in the dark, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because I was gonna say, Urson, you did see some guards out. Is there a curfew? Um, not necessarily, but, you know, they still, it's still a upper middle class neighborhood, and guards still patrol, and considering crime often goes on at night, okay. they're gonna have guards. Well, and turn into a cat and follow the people. I'm walking about 30 feet away. About 25 feet away from anyone else, but I'm keeping track of them. Okay. I'm gonna take a leaf out of uh, Yvonne's book and act a little bit, uh... I'll, I'll act kind of drunk. Yeah, I'll just, uh... I'll put the sword away, I put the sword away. I put it in... Get and, from the alley, but... sort of like the main road, and just sort of take that way back to a tavern. Alright. So and I can... Mm -hmm. You all get back. Fine. And you guys good for ending it for the night? Well, it's once we figure out what we got. We gotta see yeah. the spoils. Yeah, what's in the jewelry box? Alright. Well, I've actually got a question. Erston, are you still a cat? Uh, yeah, it lasts for an hour, I think I can do. I'm going to try to mentally speak to this cat. <laughs> Is there anybody home? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, um... I wonder if I can speak to normal cats. Oh, this is... this opens a whole new world. Thank you. You're welcome. Just not sure what I did, but alright. I guess he's having some mentals. I'm always happy you're home, Erston. <laughs> That's a hit or miss. <laughs> it depends on how much of a cannibal he's feeling like that day. <laughs> I've never eaten a fellow gnome, so I'm not a cannibal. Specific. <laughs> so, we're still well, I, I I'm not listening to this conversation because I can't hear what their thoughts, so... 
Oh no, I said that aloud. As a cat? Oh, I turned back into a human when we got back. We oh, okay, back. we're back in the tavern. No, I said you guys got back. No. Issue. So. You guys go. I just want to see Yeah. Uh, you, from the jewelry box, you find rings, some necklaces, some earrings. All look very finely made. Probably will fetch a very good price. Can't tell exact. Probably uh, at least 200 gold. Quite good uh, the sword is just a sword. You don't really get much engraving or fancy work on a sword you go out and kill things with because that's usually just gonna ruin it and be a waste of money. It's well made, but it's not really fancy. Yeah. I don't think you guys. Well, you took a journal, which would probably be about five gold. And I don't think you took anything else. Nope, just the jewelry box and the sword. Okay. And notebook. And the notebook. Yeah, I mentioned the notebook. I said it was about five gold. Cool. How much was in the jewelry box? I put it down in roll twenty chat. Yeah. Overall, a good haul for a single night. Yeah. <laughs> Any complications, or was this a perfect ice? I think it was a perfect. Totally. Nope. Almost perfect. What? I start. I, I start looking at the rings and putting them on. Well, went off without a hitch. Sure, it, it could have been a lot worse. Okay, until we get a further explanation, I'm going to assume you woke up everyone and they all decided to just give you gold. Right? I'm just going to guard after you guys. Criminals. He tripped, all right? He tripped. But he used his sleep spell. And he saved us. Even though he started it. Uh, I'm really good at this. Yeah, if nothing happened, then yeah, it did go off without a hitch. Yeah, all's well that ends well. I'll leave a note with, uh, Barkeep, and we'll say what we did today. Who knows what we'll do tomorrow. So, anything else before we end it? I put the rings back. Keep one. I'm good. Alright. So, I guess we'll end it here. Another <laughs> session come and gone. Another session you guys choose to stick your out. I mean, I, Thanks, I did it. I'm going to let the credits roll from here. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for playing.